fine here. Sure, I saved everything that's going on here. So what I do is get in it, and so it says initialize and the Git repository. Uh, the Git repository is a hidden directory in your directory. So if you type ls, you won't see it, but if you type ls-a, there it is. Um, so it's always sitting there in the background, hanging out. It's specific to this directory, so it's for keeping track of what's going on.
I had to install it on Mint. Oh, really? Yeah. That's kind of interesting. Because the creator of the next also is the creator of it. <laughs> so that's sort of like your very, very basic workflow for creating different versions. Uh, and, you know, there's so just a few good practices when you're making changes. Um, it's a really good idea to make a that you make 
to commit. There's very little cost to committing. Um, is again, uh, similarly, uh, make commit messages that help you track your, uh, that help you sort of future you, right? Your future you is have, gonna not remember what you did in the past necessarily. Um, and you're gonna have a hard time, your future you is gonna have a hard time and be sad and it's gonna think back to past you and be like, man, why didn't you make nice commit messages? Um, and again, I already mentioned a few uh, git as dot or git as star. It's really great to add only files by name. All right, so we already did uh, find past versions. Um, going back to a previous commit, you can do uh, git reverse. There are a number of ways to go back to a previous commit. This is uh, what's considered one of the safest ways because it preserves the history. Oh, reverse and then let's do git log. And we want to revert to our initial commit. Git Yeah. 
going to add a new remote and instead of a local, right? This is a remote kind of repository. And this is the address for the remote repository. Okay, so we've done that. And now we can do git dash d. Git remote dash d.
that all of the content get copied into our local directory. Okay, so let's do all that. We'll get, we created another directory for us. I guess we did just create it. So let's go, sorry. And there it is. There's browser and index.html. Right? And so what we can do here is let's take a look at index.html. And I like the index, but now I don't like that it says, oh, hi. And I uh, change it to instead say, check the browser. Let's do git status, not save. Git add.html. Status. OK, so we modified index.html. Oh, oh, oh. After that. OK, and now we can, we're going to git push for a gym master. Right? Where we're taking, we made a copy, we pulled down the repo from GitHub, made a change locally, and now we're going to push it back up.
need to text edit. One of the simplest ways to do is that I think uh, you can do git merge, but I think it's instructive to look at the file right now as it exists, index.html in the text editor, because it will have it will be changed. Oh wait, it isn't anyway. Just click the command line to make a little bit fuller request. Sorry? Just click the command line.
Well, yeah, I was just going to say, so basically it's a, as a matter of etiquette or good practice, you need to make sure that before you send a pull request that you're working off the latest update to the, you know, so if you've been working on this for a couple of days, you just can't automatically go back in and say, oh, well, it, it, won't, like, it, won't, it won't work, right? Like, but it won't mess the other person up, right? What's that? Won't it mess the other person up if they push it and it's not? I don't think it'll let you push it. it oh, okay. Okay, cool. So it'll, it'll it's it'll got a built in. And then it'll say, then you'll have to get pull again. But if you've committed your files locally, like, you know, you're fine. You're, you don't have to worry about something getting overwritten or anything like that. Okay. So uh, the only thing I want to talk about really briefly, because is that um, for projects where you don't have push access,
inside the, the file will, will become like Git will insert arrows in your file, and it says like this is the old like this is this is the part that I can't fix, and then you have to manually edit the file so that it makes sense. For you. And that makes more sense if it was shown on screen. Uh, let me see if I can get to that. Yeah. But it'll just 